what up what up what up this is star of stars empress wisdom what's good gemini hopefully you guys are doing well if you're new to my channel welcome if you are turn returning welcome back this is going to be a reading for gemini sun moon rising venus as well as north node this could be involving a soulmate one place someone from your soul tribe family member friend anyone or anything involving love or in general in the next seven days for gemini so uh basically it could resonate for you for next week all right if it does please do like share subscribe comment down below and let your girl know um if it don't that's cool too it may not resonate for you uh, at this time because energy is fluid um or it may not resonate at all so please do take what resonates and leave the rest to the birds all right um also if you would like a uh, a personal you can get those until november 2nd or 777 um you can get a question uh you know you can send me a question and i'll give you a spread uh some advice and clarity you know what i'm saying um but that's until november 2nd if you would like to donate to the channel that information is down below as well but let's go ahead and get into it all right And now this ain't no drink, drink, Gemini, okay? This ain't no drink, drink. All right, so some of you guys, uh, spirit could be nudging you guys. Uh, I feel like your guides, your your angels, your ancestors, somebody is trying to reach out to you um, to get you to trust yourself because you have more clarity uh, about this situation here. Some of you need to take a risk to move forward, all right? Yeah, because so I feel like some of you guys have learned a lesson. Um, it could be about being risky, being impulsive, or so, you know, and things like that, but... I feel like some of you guys could have been impulsive in the past and it ended up being like risky and, you know, could have some of you guys just hurt risk your health. Um, some of you guys, it could have risked uh, your mental health. Uh, but anything, I feel like you I feel like you guys are going into a space of trusting yourself and knowing that uh, knowing what's good for you and knowing what's not good for you um, at this time moving forward. So I feel like you guys need to take a risk moving forward. I feel like your spirit is definitely nudging you to do so. All right. Yeah, because I feel like something from your past you aren't you haven't and you you're not going to experience any growth here. Um, some of you guys, uh, somebody may be standing their ground towards you, or you may need to stand your ground towards somebody else. Um, yeah, because I feel like somebody could be somebody could be tipping and dabbling with the devil. All right, because we got source in reverse and we got uh being confused. Somebody could be using spell work, so I feel like somebody could be trying to uh somebody could be trying to conjure up something um in order to uh hold on to a situation yeah because i feel like somebody's lacking the courage to move on from a situation so somebody could be um trying to break up somebody with or, or whatever but i feel like uh you need to trust yourself you know and release the earth sign possibly capricorn taurus virgo because this situation is abusive i feel like um somebody is a narcissist here all right and I feel like, yeah, somebody's lacking the courage, um, but I feel like someone needs to work on their emotional health, their emotional well-being. Um, somebody needs uh, some emotional intelligence is what I just heard. All right, let's see, though. Let me get three overall. Okay. Oh, yeah. Some of you guys could be experiencing anxiety from overthinking. All right. You could be brokenhearted about a situation from the past, but I feel like it's time to get out of your head and out of your feelings about it. You know, it's time for you to move on. Yeah, release the earth sign. So some of you guys need to release a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or somebody with that heavy in their chart. Because again, something was uh, something was too much. Somebody was abusive. Somebody's narcissistic. And somebody needs to let go, basically. Okay? Yeah, I feel like somebody is uh, has communicated that they want to let go, but somebody doesn't want to. Yeah, I feel like somebody's saying, no, I'm not letting you go. And I feel like that's the narcissist. Why won't you let somebody go? You don't own nobody. Okay, I feel like somebody think they own somebody. You don't own nobody. So somebody could be definitely doing spell work, um, binding spells, whatever they can to try to keep somebody around. But I feel like so that that could be causing somebody anxiety. The reason why you're experiencing anxiety or this person is, is because they're doing shit to hold on to somebody and it's backfiring on their ass. Like, that's not cool. Yeah, I feel like somebody is be, uh, getting a new, a new beginning, a new start, a promotion. Some of you guys, if you release this earth sign, you will get a promotion, all right? Yeah, I feel like this is a soul connection that you have, a soul tie um, with a, this could be an author, a griot, which is a storyteller. So um, this could be a lyricist or an author, like I said. Um, yeah, I feel like some of you guys um, need to put in the work to uh, create a new life for yourself. 
Yeah, because I feel like when you reflect on it, uh, something gave you a uh, bad health here. Okay, yeah, I feel like it's time for you to love yourself, even even if you are feeling brokenhearted about the situation or a loss. I feel like you, it's time for you to um, surrender to those emotions, deal with those emotions, and realize and really reflect on it and and think about was that whatever this was from the past or whatever I'm trying to hold on to is it really. Was it really good for my health? You know what I'm saying? Was it something that was really uh, benefiting me for real, for real? Or do I just want it still because it's it's familiar? I feel like I'm not going to get nobody else. I'm not going to, you know, nobody else going to, you know, treat me like that. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know what your future holds. Let me tell you, though. No, I ain't Gemini. So, um, or this could be another person, but... I'm definitely getting that if you guys are having anxiety, you know, regarding dropping the earth sign, I feel like that's the best thing for you to do because once you do it, you will get promoted. All right. So um, some of y'all may need to let go. Some of y'all, somebody need to let go of you. But um, this could be uh, you could be dealing with a who is this? I can't see. Hold on. Uh, some of you guys could be dropping a Virgo or a Virgo is or two Virgos could be dropping you. So somebody, a Virgo could have moved on to with another Virgo and they could be dropping you like us. You know, somebody could have went into a, like a, a, oh, I just heard twin flame. So somebody, somebody could have went to a twin flame situation and dropped you or you could have went to a twin, twin flame situation with a Virgo and dropped another Virgo. All right. Or the, your person did, but. So, you know, you know how your story go, but, um, somebody, it's like a couple and then somebody's getting dropped because somebody went towards like somebody that they were more compatible with somebody that they have more of a, um, similarities and, you know, same interests and things like that. Yeah. I feel like, uh, you could be trying to work things out with this person, or you could have been trying to work this out or work things out with this person to have a happy family. Um, or this person could have went towards a happy family. Like I said, somebody could have went towards their 10 of cups. Somebody could have, um, went towards making a family with somebody else. Somebody could have got married, um, or engaged, but, and I feel like now somebody, you, you know, you may need to cleanse yourself from the situation and lay it to rest in your mind. I feel like it's still stuck in your mind. All right. Some of you guys wanted to have a happy family situation with somebody, but it didn't work out. Or like I said, somebody went towards making a happy family situation with someone else. And now you need to cleanse yourself of this situation, lay it to rest in your mind and stop trying to work it out. Because I feel like there's nothing to work out in this situation because, you know, it, it's it's already laid to rest here. Um, I feel like, you know, yeah, somebody could be waiting for some type of information so that they could walk away. Yeah, because somebody's ready for marriage now. Twin flame. Like I said, yeah, somebody went towards a twin flame union here. So you could have went towards uh, having a happy family situation with a twin flame. And somebody may need to release you or um, the other way around. Let's see. Yeah, somebody went towards a balanced relationship. I feel like um, somebody made the right choice to uh, balance things out in their relationship or go towards a balanced relationship. But I feel like that's stressing somebody else out. I feel like that's making this could be you, Gemini, because this is air here. So um, you could be feeling tense about this situation because you see that somebody has a balanced relationship. You see that somebody went towards a happy family. And I feel like you need to um, cleanse yourself and, or, of trying to work something out and stop praying and doing spell work to try to work something out because that's not how you work something out. You work something out by putting into work, you know what I'm saying? Love and, you know, and stability as not just money, but like, you know, balance emotions, balance spiritual, uh, spiritually balanced physically, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta be compatible in that way too. Um, so I feel like, you know, doing spell work or binding spells or love spells or breakup spells or whatever spells, that shit, you cleanse yourself of that if that's you, okay? Cleanse yourself of that because I feel like it's only messing you up in the head, all right? If this is somebody else, they gonna need to clean, they gonna need to stop doing this, doing this because it, it don't even make no sense. That's not how you keep a relationship or that's not how you build a relationship. You build it from love, compassion, you know, like, you know, look, the ten of cups, you know what I'm saying? Um, but instead, somebody is in stuck in their head. They don't know what to do. They're stuck in the mind. Uh, they're tense, anxious, uh, overthinking, scared. And it's like, you know, but this person I feel like was waiting in vain to balance this situation out. And somebody could have went towards something else that was better for them. Um, so if this is you and somebody went towards something else that was better for them, that leaves a the door open for you to go towards something that is better for you. All right. 
Um, but I feel I'm definitely getting that, you know, somebody needs to stop doing spell work here, trying to hold on to somebody. Some is gone. It's done. Okay. Yeah. Don't allow yourself to be emotionally victimized by this, you know, about trying to be passionate towards this situation, thinking that if I put more energy into it, or if I put more, uh, learn more spells, or if I do this, or if like that shit ain't going to work because there's destiny, there's fate, there's the most high, there's other things greater than just spell work that you can look up on the internet, you know what I'm saying? Or a spellcaster that you can Google and, and pay, like there's there's other people high up the net, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel like somebody could be a part of some group or something so they could be protected, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, and I feel like somebody was too indecisive to make a decision about somebody here but and they could have lost them you know i don't know if that's you or this other uh or this virgo but let's see if you are dealing with a i'm just gonna do if you're dealing with any sign because it just was like virgo came up twice for you guys so you definitely could be dealing with a virgo or somebody with that in their chart a boss yeah i feel like somebody uh wanted to start a business or this person could have been an entrepreneur um, this person could be independent, all right? I feel like this is somebody who's like an independent artist. This could be like, a, um, I just heard DJ, producer, a hit maker. So this could be like a lyricist too. Somebody had their own business, like a CEO of their own business. Someone could have the first uh, or last name A. Yeah, I feel like somebody, it was, uh, something was a bad investment. So somebody could have started something in the past, you know, independently and it didn't work out. Um, you could have started something independently or, you know, try to be a boss and it just didn't work out for you. Um, I feel like somebody here is abusive, all right? Somebody could be an enemy. So I feel like the reason why somebody didn't succeed at uh, being an independent artist is because I feel like somebody had a secret enemy. Somebody was doing, again, spell work again. Somebody was definitely being abusive or, okay, or somebody was just like starting a bunch of fights and uh, starting a bunch of chaos. I'm seeing like, Somebody breaking somebody's shit, throwing studio equipment around, throwing stuff at the walls, a real immature ass individual. Like I feel somebody just like somebody could have had a business and then their person was just like trying to destroy everything that had to do with the person's business. So it's like, you know, and this person is it's still the same. I feel like somebody's still acting as an enemy. There's, they still could be using spell work or they still could be trying to be abusive to try to stop this person from being a boss. But I feel like, you know, someone that already sees the truth clearly here. All right. Somebody already sees the truth about this situation. And I feel like, um, you know, somebody needs to now decide, you know, to get out of their head mentally about this situation because it's causing a block. Yeah, because something is not a good move to make, you know, any longer. This could be with a um, this could be with a fire sign, somebody with fire, earth, air. So it could be like Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Leo, Aries, Sag, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Yeah, I feel like, um, you know, you could be in this. This could be you being indecisive or um, indecisive about whether to let this go or not, you know, and that would be a, a bad move to make. Or this could be this other person, but somebody needs to stop trying to mess somebody up from their path. OK, somebody needs to stop trying to get somebody off their path. Somebody is destined to be a boss. Somebody is destined to. Um, yeah, I feel like I just heard a boss artist. So somebody could be like, could own their own, uh, or could start their own record label. And this person could also be um, uh, an artist too. I feel like it's an artist who's starting their own record label, but somebody don't like that. And I feel like the same person who was trying to stop this person from the past, they are now still here trying to fuck up this person's shit again. And somebody already sees. I feel like somebody's going to see clearly that, you know, the reason why they've been stuck in their head about this is because they kept going back to somebody who was abusive, somebody who was, um, you know, trying to stop them at any means necessary, somebody who will use spell work to try to delay somebody's progress. I feel like somebody sees that now. All right. And yeah. And I feel like that can leave someone else feeling emotionally stuck. Okay. So let's see. Oh, I'm going to get three random, uh, three random messages for Gemini. My nose is a little stuffy. All right. So diet change. Hold on a second. 
All right, so some of you guys um, could be healing uh, after making some type of diet change. Or you could start to heal if you make a diet change in the next seven days. All right. Oh, still lying. Okay, so somebody could still be lying. Okay. If that's you, then tell the truth. All right. Um, and just take this leap. So I feel like somebody could have been, or somebody could have a toxic family. Somebody could be, um, somebody, I feel like somebody has a toxic family situation or family dynamic. And that's why this person is prone to lying. I feel like, I feel the energy of a habitual liar, somebody who just can't tell the truth for nothing. And I feel like this person may need to change their diet so that they could start also telling the truth more or something. Because I feel like maybe uh, this person's diet may also be a reason why they're like prone to lying. I don't know where. You know what I'm saying? I'm just getting these messages, okay? Um, but I feel like that will help someone mentally if they change their diet. Because I feel like somebody makes up a lot of shit or lies and they don't even know why they're lying. They don't know why they have mental issues. And I feel like you could, you could take medicine, but you could also like... Um, eat more vegetables and things like that to try to counteract, you know, certain uh, issues with your mental health. All right. But somebody is still lying. I feel like this is somebody who is a liar. All right. And I feel like maybe somebody may need to uh, address that sooner than later. Okay. Just take that leap. I feel like if you just take that leap, you could heal a generational uh, curse or something like that. Maybe, you know, this person or you, every, you know, everybody in your family got an issue with lying. You know what I'm saying? And it could be that maybe you start, you know, to change your diet and realize that you, your health, your mental health gets better. And therefore, you're able to tell the truth more and you're able to be more authentic and honest and things like that. Because some people don't think what you eat matters and or it matters that much, but it do. Um, like what you eat literally can affect your, like can affect your, your whole, your whole situation. All right. Um, but yeah, I feel like you need to go ahead and just take this leap. Cause some take this leap and tell the truth. Cause somebody's still lying. All right. And also diet change. So till next time, Gemini, best of wishes.